do you want to fully understand the connection between a logo symbol and also the logo type? And so today we're going to look at real life examples of awesome logo type and horrible logo type. As designers, we spend a lot of our time online and dealing with sensitive information and content. And Dashlane helps keep that information secure and it saves you time within your workflow by storing your passwords and your delicate information all in one location. To learn more about Dashlane and how it can help you secure and speed up your workflow, stay tuned to the very end of the video and also grab a 30 day free trial of the premium version. Now the first logo that we're going to look at is the Bacardi logo, which is a line of alcoholic products established since 1862. The logo symbol has been a bat icon since the birth of the business back in the late 1800s. But in 2014, the logo type was actually changed. Now we're going to look at whether or not it works, but first, the original font was similar to Perpetua Tilting Monotype, but a kind of custom version of that font that you can see here. Now it's really important for you guys to know that serif fonts typically promote feelings of class and heritage, making them ideal when you want to create a company that feels established. It kind of creates that past and history in a company or a brand. And this fits right into Bacardi's long, long lasting company and their historical background. Now due to their classical nature, serif fonts carry a feeling of trust and respectability, making them perfect for brand identities that revolve around authority and grandeur. So when back in 2014, Bacardi went under a revamp, it was seen as a very bold move, quite literally. They swapped up the serif font for a bold sans serif choice. And for this 2014 rebrand, Bacardi combined their logo symbol with a new sense of professionalism from their move to a sans serif font. The new logo image creates an interesting clash of old age elegance with the new age respectability in the form of the bold font. Now this was a very risky move because the logo type was half of their identity for such a long time. And so the correct choice needed to be made for the right reasons. Now I feel the style of the sans serif font in use here still relates back to somewhat a vintage kind of time in the thin width and the lower crossbar forms. And this helps connect the old age style symbol to the newer modern logo type. This also helps to keep it established and have connotations of grandeur too. And the little squiggle above the eye gives an extra little punch at the end and that's matched with the particular angular quality of the two A's, which does set a fun reminder of their untamable brand aspect. So next we're going to be looking at the Gucci logo and how it works and also how it would fail with a different logo type choice. Now the Gucci company was founded in 1921. However, it wasn't until 1933 that Gucci started using the now iconic and well-known logo design. We again have a serif font in use, which is very similar to Grand John Roman. Using a serif font really demonstrates the seriousness that the brand sees itself as and how superior and important it is with a high value attached to it. So taking the original logo with the original logo type, we can see how it does work. But then if we go ahead and add a script font with mainly lowercase lettering, it's easy to see how the superior and the serious nature of the logo has been taken away. The logo now doesn't command as much authority and respect because the font itself is too personal and too friendly. So if we then move to the next option, which is a bold sans serif font, the logo now appears to be loud and more modern, which strips away that superior high class vision that Gucci did have in mind for their brand. For the next logo type example, we're looking at the Unilever logo design. Now this logo design is one of the most intricate designs of recent memory, and I do often say that too much detail is a bad idea for logos. However, this design is clever and it's highly acclaimed in the design community, and that's because the detail does make up one large symbol, and it does that very well indeed. It features 25 of the most successful product types for their company, and that's all blended together to form one shape for the letter U on Unilever. So what kind of logo type is matched with this symbol? Unilever uses a custom handwritten style font. The thinking behind this choice was that the stylish handwritten custom typeface will complement the logo symbol with a sophisticated elegance. The two go together really perfectly, 
with the font making up for the seemingly random patterns of the logo. The bold sans serif U is very imposing and very bold, and so having a friendly and approachable logo type below is a nice use of contrast. And this allows the brand to connect with its customer user base. If you then use a sans serif font, we can easily see the clash of having a strong sans serif U symbol with an uppercase sans serif font below. It just doesn't work. We've now lost that contrast between the script fonts and things don't look as good as they originally did. We can also try a lowercase serif font, but again, that informal elegance of having sophistication and a handwritten logo type has ultimately been lost. You can see how easily the logo type choices can affect the end result of a logo design. Creating the logo symbol is just half of the challenge when creating a logo, and every aspect of the logo type needs to complement the logo symbol and express the brand message properly. So to do this, firstly know exactly what the brand message is, what do they want to say to the audience, and who are they claiming to be? Are they high-end and expensive? Are they a cheap alternative in the market? Are they eco-friendly? Or maybe the design is aimed at children? First, know the brand message and the target market, and then everything else should fall into place. A Dashlane is an application that can save your passwords and your vital information in one secure location, as well as saving you time in your design workflow, so you don't have to keep resetting your passwords every time you forget them. You can download the Dashlane app on one device for a lifetime totally for free, and then secure everything with one master password. The neat thing is that Dashlane doesn't actually store your master password, so even if there is a hack, the encryption will prevent your data from being compromised. Now another cool feature that will save you time in your workflow is the autofill function when filling out forms online. Now you can probably relate to my distaste for these forms because I encounter them pretty much daily, and this tends to eat into my time as a graphic designer over the course of days and weeks. Dashlane can also fill these forms with your information in an instant, which means I have more time to focus on my business and my clientele work. There are other cool features of Dashlane, such as alerting you to when there is someone trying to hack your accounts, a password manager that tells you the health of your passwords, a VPN service to remain anonymous online, and so much more. And you can download the free version of the Dashlane app to one device for life, but the premium version can be downloaded to unlimited devices for a lifetime. Using my link, you're going to have access to the premium version of Dashlane for 30 days as a trial. So do check out Dashlane link down below and start securing and optimizing your online life and career as a graphic designer today. And if you do want to keep boosting your skills as a graphic designer, do remember to subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And of course, until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.